this video is all about finding the value of finding the area of this triangle now if you're given the side if you're given only one side which is AC that's five then now we are now asked to find the area of the triangle now for us to do this now there are conditions they gave they gave that the, the condition they gave it was that a b and b c must be an integer anything short of that is not correct so now and the, and you know this is a um, this is the length well this is what we call length length of a triangle and the length should be positive values there shouldn't be any negative values so now let's begin now we have a triangle like this you have a b c here is five now this is 90 so this is a right angle triangle now now for, for us to begin let's say a b is equal to is equal to x okay let me say a b is equal to y is equal to y then and b c is equal to x now we are given we are given a c equal to what five now we are asked to find the area of the triangle now in triangle a b c angle b a c is 90 so this is a right angle triangle meaning that the Pythagoras theory will work now apply the Pythagoras theory we now have a b square plus a c square equal to b c square so now our a b is y square plus a c is 5 square equal to b c b c is x square so now moving this y to this other side you now have 25 because if i am um, 5 square is 25 too. so moving this y square to this other side you have x square minus y square so that means x square minus y square is equal to 25 now if you add if you add plus x plus xy then minus xy minus y square is equal to 25 so now if you if you add this value subtract it, it this this whole thing still means the same thing now let's factor it out now what is common between these two terms is x so now let's remove let's bring up x factor out x now x divide x square you have x x divide plus x y you have plus y now what is common here is minus y so minus y is common if you use minus y to divide minus x y you have plus x if you use minus y to divide minus y square you have plus y equal to 25 what is common you have this that is common so factor it out you have x plus y now if you use this x plus y to divide this whole term, you have x remaining. If you use x plus y to divide into this whole term, you have minus y remaining, which is equal to what? 25. And that implies that x plus y times x minus y is equal to what? 25. Now, they said the value should be positive and an integer. That means x is greater than 0. And y is greater than zero. It should be integer and a positive value because it's length. So now, since x is zero, this is zero. This is zero. Now, if you add this together, you have x plus y 
must be greater than zero since this and this are greater than zero so this will be also be greater than zero now since it's greater than zero now and again if you multiply this value that is greater than zero with x if you multiply this value that is greater than zero with x minus y Hmm? it will now give you x plus y times x minus y it will give you positive value which is 25 this times this positive value will give you a positive value which is 25 so that means this times this is greater than 0 so if this times this is greater than 0 that means x minus y is greater than 0 so if this is the case it means that x is greater than y because if you move this to this other side it means x is it's only in a case where x is greater than y that is what we're going to consider so now let's look at this expression 25 now 25 what are the factors of 25 that when you multiply them together it will give you 25 you have 25 and 1 you have 1 and 25 you have you have 1 and 25 you have 5 and 5 there is another factor you have minus 25 and minus 1 you have minus 1 and minus 25 you have minus 5 and minus 5 so that is it. So now, but there's another condition here that we didn't uh, bring out. Since x plus y is, since x plus y will give you a positive value, and this is also a positive value, this is also a positive value, then it then means that since this is positive and this is positive, and these two are positive. It now means that x plus y is greater than x minus y. So we're going to use this to, to eliminate the values. Now, this will work because 25, which is this, which is x plus y, is greater than 1, is this condition. Now, for so this cannot work because this condition does, did not work now. So now, and this one did not work because x plus y must be greater than x minus y because in this case they are the same. Now, this one will not work because x plus y is greater than zero. So, it, and it cannot be negative. So it did not work. So. In this other case, it also did not work. It did not work here. So the only place it works is this place. So that is what we're going to use now to solve this particular problem. So now, that means we have x plus y times x minus y equal to 25 times 1. So that means x plus y is equal to 25 x minus y is equal to 1. So this is equation 1, equation 2. So adding, adding equation 1 and 2 together, you now have 2x is equal to what? 26. So divide both sides by 2. These two will cancel. You have x to be equal to what? 13. Now substituting substituting x equal to 13 into equation 1. So if you now put you say 13 plus y is equal to 25. So if you move this 13 to this other side, you have y is equal to 25 minus 13. So that means y is equal to what's 12. So, 
it then now means that from our drawing, you have here to be 12, here is 5, here is 13. Now let's, here is at, at go 90. So the area, the area of the triangle will now be half times 12 times 5. So 12 times 5 is 60, divided by 2 is 13. So let's say it's unit square. Because it's unit square. So because the unit was not, was not given. So now, so this is the final answer. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day.